I'm in China, I'm in Guilin, I've met Xuan, who's my client, and I'm now at the hotel. And I, I've been like kind of half asleep in the car, because <laughs> I'm like exhausted and running, I'm like no sleep. And I woke up and suddenly I'm in this beautiful hotel of hers, and uh, I'm in the room. I'm, I'm going to show you around the hotel, but let me give you a tour of this hotel room because it's stunning and you can see the logo that i designed um scattered around as well so so here we see hello it's uh winter time here in guilin so i've got to wear my gunt jacket so here i am all warm and toasty <laughs> and then we walk in here's the bathroom hello a lovely shower and i assume that looks like a talking toilet but I don't think that is. Look, it's the logo that I designed on the towels, on the toiletries. Oh my god, I am taking some of this home. Like the bamboo toothbrushes and stuff. And the towels as well with the logo that I designed. Oh my god. And then here's the bed, which is, again, very nice, very simple. And here is the glorious view of Guilin. It's kind of foggy today, but it's, I mean, come on guys, it's stunning. You can see the rice fields, the, the clouds are like making it seem like it's from the Jurassic period. I love it. Yeah, I get such innocent like eyes. Super cute. Eyes. Mm -hmm. I love them. Me too. You want food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> morning it is the next day <laughs> I need to start my painting today but I just need to go downstairs and get some tea because I just woke up and it's 10 o'clock and I slept a lot that's what happens when you lack sleep I had a wonderful sleep in this bed it was so comfortable I kind of wish that I owned this bed <laughs> so lovely um, it's a little bit foggy today and I don't think there's electricity because they're like rejigging the electrical lines but we'll see what we can do with what we have. It's really mysterious right now outside. Let me show you. Okay, just had breakfast. Now I'm gonna start planning how to paint this wall. Let's go. This is the wall. So I need to paint this and this trying to figure out how to do this. This is one of my favorite paintings that I've done so far. It's not finished yet. Good 
Good morning. The view has cleared up a little bit today so I can see the rice fields and everything else. I can, I'm just outside. It's raining a little bit so still beautiful. I enjoy it a lot. It reminds me a little bit of Scotland just with Chinese landscapes. It's really nice. It is the second full day here in Longji, I think it's like Longji province in Guilin where the rice fields are. The fog has completely subsided, well not completely, but it, it has subsided in the area that I'm in so I can actually see this wonderful view of um, the rice fields again. It's really nice because it's just been like foggy and white the past day, two days. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish the painting that I've been working on today i've had amazing progress because i can't connect to any social media in china so all i've been doing is just meditating on these paintings and just laser focused on getting everything done and today i'll have ample of time to touch up things add the final um design onto like the circles and then it's all gonna be complete and then i can take some nice photos some nice videos and all that before Sean arrives actually so I'm gonna hang out with my friend Sean as well who is actually the designer of this hotel and yeah that's gonna be cool so you're gonna see some time lapses now is saying that the fog is clear and I can go to the fourth floor to see the view so let's go cold today. The electricity is off again so I'm kind of just hiding in my room because I stepped on cold water. Now my feet are cold. <laughs> so I'm just trying to trying to warm up a little bit while looking at the view. But I still need to like erase some of the pencil lines and stuff on the wall and do some last minute touches to the to the mural but it's so cold. I'm just waiting for the electricity please. Hurry up I'm freezing. It looks so good. Wow, <laughs> I love it. I'm super proud of it. Um, it's like half six in the morning and it's negative three outside so I'm bundling up because we're gonna go and see the sunrise which is apparently stunning. I'm so not accustomed to the cold anymore. I'm worried I'm gonna freeze my ass off and I know I will but I'm wearing like four layers already and three pairs of socks. 
I mean, that should be enough, right? <laughs> Negative three. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. Oh, I'm so out of breath. But look at this view. Stunning. Sean is there. Boop, boop. It's again. <laughs> You're like flanking, flanking. <laughs> There's so many mountain dogs. It's just a puppy. Look, look at you. Ayo. So fluffy. You're huh? full of love grass, huh? <laughs> it's a chicken and dog stand up. Finally, after all of these days and being here, I can sit outside and enjoy the view. Oh. Okay, so done taking photos with Joan. Oh, look at this view, it's incredible! I'm happy with the painting that I've done. I'm happy with the view. I'm just, overall this trip has been super lovely. Uh, I have not been stressed one day. Today I'm a little bit stressed because I have to do, uh, go to Guilin later and try and figure out how to get to the hotel that I'm gonna stay for one night because my flight's tomorrow morning. So I have one night in Guilin city. We'll see how I feel later, whether I'm too tired, but I do want to kind of walk around within the vicinity of Guilin and figure out what's around the city just to have a look. I don't know what's what's in the city. Nobody really talks about Guilin that much. The only thing is because I don't have access to like Google Maps or anything, I don't know how to navigate and I can't download the Chinese version because I can't access the Play Store. So I don't have anything on my phone that can allow me to navigate around uh, Guilin. So all I can do is just, I don't know, manage with a paper map maybe? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'll just have uh, my last few hours to enjoy this view and then we're gonna go down to the city.
I'm alone in Guilin and uh, the taxi dropped me off at the wrong hotel. <laughs> Luckily I have internet now so um, Joanne is gonna ask the hotel person to look for me. <laughs> I'm lost but luckily I'm around a lot of people and it's a nice day and it's a nice area too like all the trees and rivers and stuff so I, I don't feel like nervous or anything it's just funny <laughs> found a hotel it was just behind where I was dropped off so the taxi driver wasn't wrong thank god and I'll show you the bedroom it's so cute so this is the room it's a bit small but it's cozy enough and I'm super happy with it. And look at this. I have a view. Oh my god. I have a view of the river. There's like the cafe downstairs. And this is where I was planning on hanging out when I was in the taxi. So really nice. All right. It's uh, 4.30. I'm just going to go out and check out what's around the neighborhood. I mean, it's a pretty busy neighborhood. I kind of just want to look at like locals and see what they do. I don't know, there's a guy fishing in the river across from here. That's nice. Can you see the guy? I don't know what he's trying to fish for though. I mean, what could possibly be in the river? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, let's go. <laughs> I came back and there's food for me! Yay! I wonder what it is. I'm gonna open it up and see. I'm gonna have dinner in this little river nook. I thought of sitting outside but then I realized that my foot was killing me because uh, we went out um, for the wee hike in the morning. So just have a rest and then have an early start tomorrow. So we have soup veggies and dumplings. Perfect. Perfect meal. <laughs> 